Welcome to Riverbend Talon on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. Another Thursday night, another Riverbend Talon on the Big Z. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Force of Macias Insurance. A sea shanty sing-along already underway in downtown Alton at uh, Morrison's Irish Pub. Goes until 9 o'clock. Trivia night tonight at the Conservatory. Starts at 6.30. Open mic later tonight at Raging Cajun at 9 o'clock with Mr. Jamie Dunn. Cross the line 7 to 11 at Fast Eddie's tonight. Logan Chapman underway up at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville. He goes until 9. Jeremy Drake underway at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. He goes until 9. Graham Band starts at 7 at Deutz. Goes till 11 in Pontoon Beach. Frankie and the House Shakers scheduled at uh, Patrick's already under underway until nine o'clock in granite city lanny and julie started at 5 30 they'll go to 8 30 at the prairie inn in dorsey and of course experience live music road down there in belleville they continue their wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday night festival every <laughs> right? weekend down there in belleville it's and, gotta uh, be two years they've been doing that now oh someone's talking over me oh, oh that's uh, you big <laughs> oh, i was talking to you sorry i i, I forget we're on the radio I I know, you're talking. I know, I know. i'm just listening in and going man it's crazy that's yeah, still yeah. going uh, so it's uh it's festival season and uh you know festivals are coming including well, uh mr josh witt putting one on this year yeah may, may 24th and 25th at the bear den yeah. private campground in foster township and uh like six bands i think 65 uh, full, full, bucks yeah. until may and uh 75 after and uh here's his number 618-570-1077 <laughs> so, limited tickets only 75 to 80 for that one and he's going to have the Fleetwood family, Spilly Nelson, Tree One Four, and then uh, a brighter side. I think everyone heard about the Mississippi River Festival <laughs> happening in June twenty second. Nick Dewitt Wafano uh, doing that brand new release out of his studio from the Grand Arson on the thirteenth. So uh, yeah, three hundred and seven comma seven six zero the budget for that a hundred thousand dollar grant coming from the city they're going to get reimbursed by the state through the uh, department of commerce and economic opportunity hmm. and uh, nick dewitt the uh, mrf director so uh cool to have uh, an attachment to the local scene involved in that and it'll be interesting to see what mrf is going to be because if what i've heard from stories there's multiple bands national acts and three hundred thousand is probably not going to cover multiple national acts and well, why do i bring that up because we got a couple of uh festival promoters in the <laughs> studio tonight <laughs> we like to talk about these uh, things on riverbend talent here on the big z you know three hundred thousand is a is a, a pretty nice budget to have and and now that's you, for everything and remember right right we've that, been told there's no green room down there toilets we're yeah, a problem yeah, yeah. so so, so uh, quite so, a bit you so, got to bring in if you've got the uh if you've got the city involved ho- you know hopefully the the venue isn't isn't a great cost itself however to bring in they they've they've added the uh, uh that they've got the little like swim area now that does have a couple of toilets a couple of restrooms but if you're gonna have a a, a mississippi river fest you're gonna have to bring in some extra toilets imagine two toilets at woodstock right, well <laughs> they had, go well <laughs> they had four <laughs> at the original at the, MRF. At, at the, right. Back, right? Uh, you got but, dylan the birds you know grateful dead yeah, all legendary. at the same time right i just don't see it being that big i think it's in the name is what we're going to go with for the first one for sure well so so mrf they get to use Mississippi yes, River Festival. Yes. So that's and, and, good. And that and and it was those were legendary shows uh, that that went down. And and like I say, three hundred thousand. If, if I uh, was had that for a budget, I would go. Yeah, man, I can I can throw a festival with some multiple uh, acts and with good production and and everything. But you can do it with no budget. I, what, <laughs> what was the date they announced for that show? June twenty second, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so. Maybe something already in the works. I would imagine. Yeah, I you know I I heard that they don't that they they either announced. that or twenty twenty five. I Sh- mean you know surely it's more it, than one day. It's a one day thing, and that's another thing. What is a festival? That's my big question for you guys tonight. What officially makes it a festival? 
Well, what kind of festival? I don't know. Yeah, that, we got the International Horse Rash <laughs> Radish Festival <laughs> right. in Collinsville coming right. up this summer. That's um, a two-day event, multiple bands. I think there's only four, but they got, you I know. I mean, a festival has to be festive. Okay. There's ha- there has to be music. There has to be food. People there has get, to be activities. People get there, festive yeah. for horse radish. Hey, if that. If Bloody Marys. Whatever, whatever gets you kicking. That's so, the plan there. So, so uh, according to the, uh, the actual definition, festival, a okay. day or period of celebration. Okay. So it can be a day. So uh, we had Eclipse. That was a festival for um, everyone. It, it was, you know it what? It was pretty cool. It I was drove awesome. I down to Southern <laughs> Illinois and checked it out. Yeah, yeah so did so. I, man. It, 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 was, it, it was really uh, uh, an odd thing to, uh, to see, like, the moon's shadow, a big round shadow flying across the earth at 18,000 miles an hour or whatever the heck it was, you know. Uh, y- y- it, Allegedly the moon. <laughs> that was really just Barry Bonds' head. No, <laughs> a big bumpkin. No, I don't know, man. No, uh, I don't know either. Hey, I, I don't know. All I know is I... Could I have had, been Jerry Garcia's head. I, all I know is I had Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon going on <laughs> as it went past. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it uh, last time, 2017. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I was yeah. on top of Cahokia Mound. I rode my bicycle up there. Yeah. Oh, my Great. friend Randy was in town, or was uh, was at Cahokia for that. Yeah, and, uh, it was a blast. He went and did that both times. Yeah. People up there with bongos and instruments. Yeah, it's and I cool. was way up above that mound. <laughs> I was levitating. Oh yeah, at least twenty thousand foot above the mound. <laughs> yeah, I rode my bicycle there. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Bicycle. Yeah, I'm catching. Bicycle. Bicycle. In fact, that's what I, that's I've what I'm got here the for. Bike. <laughs> I'm here to ride a bike, man. Yeah. So, uh, uh, v- real quick, real quick, before we, because we're gonna we're gonna talk a whole bunch about uh, uh, National Bike Day coming up, International Bike Day, <laughs> <laughs> World Bike Day. Uh, anyway, uh, so so this this question of what is a festival? We 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 just gave like a basic definition. It's just a, a gathering and a celebration. So it could be a day, it could be a week. But but as you you when he first posed the question, you said what type of festival? Because to me, a concert is a concert, mm-hmm. and a festival is a festival, and, right. and and you can call them either or. But I always think of festivals as multiple, multiple days, days, and and usually camping. camping like you can camping, stay there yeah. because if I have to drive in and drive out, I'm not saying it's not a festival. Oh, well, you got like I guess by definition and stuff that is technically a festival. Those are really tours, though. They, they you know okay the Horde Fest. They called it the Horde Fest, but it was a. T- it was like I guess a touring festival, but a one day festival, you know, and it Well Lollapalooza is like Grant Park and Yeah. Three or four days. Oh, it's fair. So 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 uh, maybe one that, day that is a touring festival. Yeah. Warp tour, all that kind yeah, of stuff. Warp tour, but Lala so I guess Lollapalooza, Lollapalooza might be that way now, but back in like the uh, early nineties whenever Lollapalooza went on, it was a tour that went around the country. Yeah. And I saw so like Alice in Chains at one of them. I, I and saw they had some more the, than music. Yeah, they does had, that matter for a festival? Oh, uh, I I yeah, believe the, like vendors, yeah. activities, mm-hmm. I, I, I freak be- show like Lollapalooza used to have yeah. with the uh, guys picking stuff up with their nipples. Oh, jeez, okay. the the the, uh, the uh, yeah. Jim Rose sideshow <laughs> circus, which uh, still to this day haunting memories, haunting memories from that. I, I accidentally, uh, they were, the Jim So Roche Sideshow was uh, performing at the American Theater one time with some bands, and I was hanging out backstage before the show, and I was looking for a restroom and accidentally walked into their backstage area while they were all getting ready at the same time. Huh. And it was sensory overload. Too much, it was the first time I ever thought, this is too much weirdness at once. Yeah. I have to back out of this yeah. room slowly. I yeah, I, I like sideshows, though. Bindle Stiff sideshows, family circus, straight up in a tent, man. It's it's. It's so, good stuff. So the Josh Witt Festival that's, that's, is not being called a festival. It's a two-day thing with camping. It's being called an outdoor music experience nice, under the stars. Nice. And, and I, I'm going to say this. Uh, I just want to throw this in because whenever I first, when when Josh first sent me the uh, the th- the information on that, I, I'll be honest. Back when I, you're on Facebook. <laughs> when he texted it to me, I'm, I, I swear today I, I I told myself I'm going to get back on Facebook today, and I just I got busy. It's not like they just post. let you I back. Got on. busy. <laughs> I I think they're going to let me back on. I just well, I, I literally I just tagged know. your page on a post uh, 
like to, worthless. They haven't yeah. let me on since January. They keep telling me they want want me to do some stuff, and I've yeah. refused. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the uh, they called well, him up when I first. Yeah, Facebook called me. Hey, this is Facebook. <laughs> No, anyway, uh, the Joshua thing, I just want to say this because you, you mentioned that there's four bands. Uh, uh, well, there's, six. there's six. There's yeah. six. So there's two on Friday and four on Saturday. And you mentioned the prices, uh, uh, 65 in advance, 75 at, at the gate, I think. I want to throw in that. You get two dinners you and get, one breakfast. There you, there you go. Yeah. You get two yeah. dinners and one breakfast with that. Yeah. So, And you're, you're camping and, and the band. So, I mean, that's that's not too bad there. They're doing food with the ticket. Yeah. They're that's doing cool. Yeah. They're just because it's a limited number. They're just going to part of it is yeah, they're making they're it feeding, an experience. They're making an right. experience. Nobody yeah. has not a festival. Nobody has to, to worry about cooking or cleaning. You just get to party for four for two days. Although the article in the uh, that's pretty black cool. and white thing that used to come around with a kid carrying it on a bike. That thing said it was a festival. So you're just talking about like the internet made out of paper? Yeah, the internet <laughs> paper. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Not the worldy pipe. Right. <laughs> uh, so, so what did it say? I'm sorry, my brain scattered. They call it a festival yeah. that you know Josh was putting on his first music nice. festival. And he's put on quite a few shows in his backyard at his old house, I believe. And, he's and headlined he many festivals, and yeah. he's headlined many festivals. But I, I, and he has a that the bear den is a nice it's a pretty cool little spot you ever beaut- been out there yes yeah. yes it's it's actually right around the corner from from some property i got and it is i i saw him make a lot of progress with it really quick uh where i was it's down there one day and, and it was nice and i was there the very next day and they'd had a bobcat working for eight hours and it was like oh wow what a difference in one day uh nice little stage he's got built so it, it should be a lot of fun should be a good time. Anyway, uh, yeah. What about the uh, Friday night uh, coming up uh, here in the River Bend? Is is this a festival, Marshall and Gracia? No, it's a celebration. It's a celebration. See, well, which a festival great. is a celebration, right? According to the definition, but, but right. it, it's but it's one day, yeah. And you can't camp at Jacoby. What? I can't say you can I didn't say you couldn't camp outside of it. Wait, wait. I see but, people but I already set up a tent in the it. back corner of the. <laughs> I we'll see people pass. camping outside all over the town. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I mean, they're ready. They're ready Shots for your show. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Well, you know, uh, so so over the winter, you had the winter jam down at Jacoby's. You had, had I did. It was you had, so fun. You had had uh, oh, for man. for for several years. You had done winter shows down at Mineral Springs. Mineral Springs jamming at the springs. At first, it was uh, you know. Yeah, uh, happy, happy trails. trails, and then you did happy trails in the summer. So you called it jamming at the springs, and and then the winter jam, and all this. Uh, moving down to Jacoby's, I, as a, uh, a person uh, who was at at both of them, uh, I feel like Jacoby's room oh, worked so, really well. Yeah, it, it it, so the, the nice. sound was a little nicer. The uh, and, well, and the and acoustics to, are fine in there. No, Mineral Springs is fine. Nothing, we love I was that place, say and I'm sure we'll be back in there one day. I, I was going to say, Mineral Springs is a beautiful room. It's got the big glass windows overlooking the window. The people who run it are very pleasant. They are. They are pleasant people. Uh, but Jacoby's, uh, it, it, it had uh, the stage down there. It had uh, The sound was really good. So uh, We good, are good super job. lucky. Well, thanks for helping with the sound and everything. But, yeah, we're super lucky to have Jacoby Art Center here in Alton, and I hope it stays here in Alton, and I hope it stays. I hope that room uh, stays available for people like me and you to get yeah. in there and, and uh, do musical arts yeah. and stuff like that. You know, it's and, really important. And, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's still going on, but I think there might be some plans for an outdoor stage there. At least yeah. there was at one point. Like, I know things move slow. I'm super so. thankful for the conservatory. I'm glad we got a venue like that in town yeah. where we can throw oh, shows. Man. But we need, we need somewhere that is also somewhere we can do, you know, larger family-friendly shows where we can bring kids out and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, because the, the conservatory, I was going to say the conservatory to, to have uh, for, for a uh, – a town in an area with as many musicians as this ha- as we have, and musicians who like to write their own music. You need a venue that that supports that because, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, uh, 
it's easy to get gigs. Well, not easy necessarily, but it's much easier to get gigs when you're playing the hits of the day than when you're saying, hey, I wrote this silly song. <laughs> you probably aren't going to like it, but I want to play it anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, th- uh, I'm glad to have that. And it is nice to have Jacoby where, you, like you say, a fa- more of a family-friendly place where you can have yeah. uh, underage kids. And, and uh, uh, what a great thing they got going on there. And you are doing another event down there next Friday. The Friday, 19th. Yep, the 19th. The 19th, yeah. 419. 419. A lot of people think 420. What a great day to party. It's it's a it's one of our favorite numbers, right, in this country. 420. Right. But 419 is pretty significant as well. It is. We call it the day before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's for all the bike enthusiasts. Yeah. The bicycling enthusiasts. Yeah, if you like riding bikes, that's your day. It is National Bike Day. Uh, so we're uh, 419 down at Jacoby's. What, tell us tell us what you got planned for that day. Uh, we have uh, four bands coming through, um, starting around, uh, I guess doors are going to be at 4 o'clock. Music starts at 420. No, no, no. Music starts at 419, bro. <laughs> <laughs> at 420 is for next, that's the next day, I'll tell, people. I'll tell Jared that. Yeah, yeah 419, that's when the music going to start. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, uh, so I decided to do kind of like a scaled back version of what we did um, last January. Just do one day, just do a couple bands and give everybody longer set times. Uh, my friend Jared is going to start the show. He does like solo one man band stuff. He'll do some covers, some original music. Um, and then uh, he's from Edwardsville and plays around Edwardsville and St. Louis a lot. Um, and then y'all know Darius. Oh, he was in here with us last week. Yep. He yeah, was uh, he was sitting right where you are last week and, yeah. and uh, sat and talked about his music. And, and uh, He'll be playing this Friday night down at the conservatory. He's not going to wait. He's going to get started this Friday and <laughs> yes. be ready to go again next gotta Friday. Got to get warmed up, right. you know. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so there you go. So, so starting at 419 with, with, at 419 with, with Jared, Jared Lutz. <laughs> and then uh, Darius. And then Darius. Dar- after Darius that, Garcia. honestly, I don't have the set times in front of me. They're each Everybody's getting, I think those guys are doing at least an hour, if yeah. not a little over an hour. Um, but, yeah, Dar- uh, Darry Garcia's Lonesome Blues, um, he's going to come through and do his one-man band, Grateful Dead show, which is phenomenal. If you're a fan of the Grateful Dead, you should definitely come check that out. And, yeah. and there's rumor that he's going to play the entire 45-minute Terrapin Suite. Oh, that'd be really cool. Yeah. 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 Well, well, we're pressuring him into it. So. Yeah. yeah we, we had talked about doing uh, – the terrapin suite at one of our grateful super jams which there is one of those uh in the making in the near future we'll talk more about that soon nice but, you know, nice it'll be fun. yeah that uh yeah so there you go Derry uh Derry garcia doing uh doing the 45 minute terrapin suite all by himself yep. has it ever even been done who knows you might Could do it this it friday night too yeah. So he's nice and practiced. He's, he's up. definitely. He, he said. He, he said. I don't know. I've got. I've been working on it. I might do it. You know, one night or the other. But I. I'm not going to give him a choice on on the 19th. I'm going to say you have to play it. <laughs> 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 if you want me to make you feel good, no. <laughs> no. If you want, if you want them uh, stage monitors on, right, right, right. <laughs> you, you want the monitors to sound good or bad? No, no he. Uh, I'll talk him into it. He's a nice guy. I'll just be like, please, Derry. Uh, no, that'd be a well, good time. Well, it's like you said last week. He's done all this time practicing it. You might as well play it both nights. Yeah, yeah, might know. as well play it. Man. Makes sense to me. Maybe oh, makes sense to me too. Because if you be, if you spend the time learning a forty every piece of a forty five minute piece of music that moves pretty quickly, if you don't practice it regularly you're gonna forget it oh yeah <laughs> and, so, and do it with a loop station yeah right it, that's know, what i mean to build it by to, yourself yeah, build it piece by piece and <laughs> and there's a lot of time changes in it and there's a lot yeah there's a lot going on in that that particular piece of music it will be interesting to watch him do it i'm telling you ten dollars to get in the door right ten bucks so it's worth the ten bucks just to watch dairy do that it is it is worth the ten dollars just to watch Derry yeah we, do that. we really uh when i was working out the pricing for this show i was like we know we were thinking 25 Nah, maybe Man. 20 uh maybe you know i wanted to make it affordable i you know the one thing with throwing these shows i've been doing this a long time now it's like it's hard to make it super profitable when you're trying to pay everybody out for what you know what they deserve you know and trying um, to keep it at a reasonable and, price so so people aren't you know 
Yeah, exactly. So people are happy um, about it. Yeah. And I I wanted to make this show as cheap as we could, you know, for people. So ten bucks was the was the line. So yeah, ten bucks. Uh, four bands. We're gonna have some vendors out there. Um, Lemay's Catering is gonna come out and have some food. Jacoby has a full open bar, so it's gonna be a good good time. Nice. There you go. Uh, celebrating National Bike Day. Yeah. So everybody could ride a bike down if they want. If they want, yeah, uh, you can ride a bike. I encourage that. I, I, I encourage <laughs> as much bicycle riding as possible that day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on down and ride your bike. If you know, you know. We're gonna play bicycle music for you to ride your bike in circles too. I've got the bike. <laughs> <sighs> little, little bicycle. Bicycle. <laughs> I feel like we did this with dairy last week. We did. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, I started in with everything's the qu- a fractal. I started in with the Queen, and I knew as, mm. as soon as I started singing it, I knew he was over there thinking Pink Floyd in oh, his yeah. mind. Yeah. So there you go. My favorite Pink Floyd album, "Piper's at the Gates of Dawn." Yeah. Although "Saucer Full of Secrets" is right there with it. I mean, is is there a bad one? I didn't say there was a bad right. one. I said a favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's just hard for me to. I prefer the Sid Barrett years and yeah. the aftermath just slightly. Well, I, I, so so the aftermath slightly. You prefer that because they're still singing yeah. Sid's songs right. and, and, and writing songs about Sid. <laughs> well, I think they did that the whole time. Yeah, I, I, yeah. until Roger Waters left. Yeah, you know, because all of his songs were about insanity in school. Yeah, I was David, say, uh, David Gilmore quote. By the way, uh, <laughs> no, David Gilmore has no soul. That's a yeah. Roger Waters quote. By the way. Well, that actually, David Gilmore said that about Roger Waters' song. I don't know. Yeah, you know. Uh, Imagine if those guys would have had therapists, but would have never got that great music. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And imagine uh, if Albert Hoffman would have never fell off his bike, we'd have never had that great Pink we, Floyd music. We, did, we, did, he, did he fall off the bike? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, uh, I, he I, was slightly surprised. I, I would, I would think if it was a successful ride to completion, I would be just, you know, I, 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 yeah, I would, I would think there was probably at least a few times of stopping and breathing heavy, rem- telling yourself, remember to breathe, remember to breathe. Why are the trees telling me to breathe? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're smart, man. They are. Those trees are smart. Breathe our breath. Oh yeah. So there you go, man. Uh, uh, Jacoby's uh, Jacoby's Art Center. That is not uh, not tomorrow, but one week from tomorrow. And yes. uh, four nineteen, the music gets kicked off. Uh, like I say, Jared Lutz, a one man band. I've never seen Jared, so I'm it's good I'm, stuff. I'm excited I'm to have. I'm excited him. to see him. I did talk to him. I, I we've never met him face to face, but I talked to him a few weeks ago on the phone. Uh, and and I'm looking forward to seeing it. I've seen Derry a few times. Yeah, uh, oh, looking boy. forward to seeing that again. Uh, Sandwich Brothers. Um, if you're into weirdness, you you may enjoy it. That's about all I got on that. <laughs> that's why I thought that's why I thought they'd be a good fit for the show. <laughs> if if you're not into weirdness, yeah, yeah, they might not be for you. All right. <laughs> anyway, but they're uh, not a fish cover band. I know that's what that sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh you know poor fish it's like i really liked them so much in the early 90s and by the mid 90s it was like eh. but I- i'm i'm back into digging them again so you know they the pendulum has swung i guess you know well i guess they can jam but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know they in, in never the, got down on trey's lyrics too much actually they're not even his lyrics a buddy of mine that's a big fish fan told me that they've got like a robert hunter type deal thing going on they've got like a guy another guy that writes their lyrics apparently i didn't know that most of their lyrics are actually based off game hinge which is uh the thesis that trey wrote in college i i heard they did their game hinge show and it was this big thing at the garden yeah lots of lots of their songs are based out Mm -hmm. of that even if they're i have tickets for the sphere show actually oh yeah yes on a on 420 (laughs) <laughs> you know, how are you going to get there? I sold them. I was going to say, <laughs> if, if you're at Jacoby's at 419, you are going to have to get No, it. I, uh, <laughs> Dead & Company announced their residency, and I said, mm-hmm. I would rather go to Vegas to see Dead & Company yeah. than Fish. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Any any thoughts on 2025? Uh, uh, dead uh, Wrigley. I mean, they said they're not that they're not doing that again, but it's been another ten years. I know they said they they won't tour anymore, but I I would I wouldn't. I would I could see them doing like residencies, like maybe a residency in New York, a residence yeah. in Chicago. So, so that's and dead. That, that's dead and gone. I'm talking about Phil coming back and doing the the sixty year dead. Oh, because it, it's sixty years now. I mean, that'd be really cool. I'm sure they'll do something. I, I well, they said that the last time that they all played together, they wanted to be at Wrigley, the last place they played with Jerry. So I'm assuming if they're going to do a show, they're going back to Wrigley, Soldier uh, Field or Soldier Field. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the chewing gum. Sorry. No, that'd be cool. Um, <laughs> you know, I I did the whole uh, you know make a cool looking ticket and send in everything, I and did I too. did I did you know I was like 15 or something like that, 16 when they did that, and I uh, I did something wrong on one part of it, like the smallest little thing, and I didn't, I didn't get a ticket. And at the time, I was naive, and I was like, well, I guess I'm not going. I should have just went because I heard that that lot was just. Raging, yeah, it yeah. was so. So uh, I was young though. I I did everything right. 15, no, I was like twenty or something like that. I did everything or right something. on mine. Still didn't get tickets. They didn't. They just because there were so many people that that. Uh, and, and meanwhile, I had a buddy who put in and got like all three days, three different times, all three days. I'm like how. It doesn't seem as random. Not gonna lie, like I love the band and that music, but like the audio and stuff from that show is not mind blowing. So yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to go. All right, just just curious. Uh, uh, just trying to get your thoughts, your inside thoughts there. Those are my thoughts. Tell me your thoughts about four nineteen, my friend. <laughs> I just was like, hey, this is a great opportunity to throw another show. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And anybody who went down to the uh, to the Winter Jam, yeah, and enjoyed we, it. Yeah, I hope y'all had be, a good yeah. time. That was a super fun show. Uh, my band Colt Ball and Friends had a great time. Yeah. And, uh, Speaking of your friend Colt Ball, he's a uh, part of Experience Live Music Row tonight. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong, it says here uh, Colt Ball six to, six nine, to nine at Benny's, Benny's. Pizza. Yeah, Pizza and Ball. There you go. So he's he's underway as we speak. He's playing all weekend. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I asked him. I said, "Hey, buddy, do you want to go be on the radio?" <laughs> and he said, and he "I said, got no, a gig. I'm, I'm eating pizza yes. right now." I'll tell him Benny's. we. Uh, pushed his gig for him there we're gonna go. push them all we get going oh, yeah yeah kevin's uh in nashville seeing primus and tool and <sighs> whoever it's a big old billy string i got a bunch of people down there um and then alex isn't a radio guy so yeah he, he's, he's got a face for tv <laughs> not a voice for radio Dead sexy he is. he is yeah uh so so uh man primus that'd be a good show that's, yeah that sounds like a good time right there it does uh, apparently like seems. like perfect circle and primus and pussifer were are all, all we're all on stage together uh, and playing at the same time <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty fun yeah i know right i'm like what? come on uh so there you go man uh any, anybody who uh you know like i say was at the winter jam and had a good time definitely come down uh on friday 419 10 bucks gets you in the door four bands you got jared lutz you got Derry garcia you got the sandwich brothers band uh and cult ball so uh lots of nice uh trippy psychedelic jams and good times going on that day yeah, we're going to play some really fun stuff. We have some extended jams we're going to get into, maybe a couple fun covers. Nice, nice. Ten, and, and $10 to get in the door. Uh, got some vendors? Things I like do. That I do have a couple Excellent. vendors. It's go. actually funny. I, I have a pool of vendors that I reach out to. I you know I start with the people that work with me the most and then work, right. that work down the list. Um, one Shout problem I've George. never, ever had thrown a festival is finding vendors. Yeah. Uh, everybody's booked for 420. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. uh, yeah, I do have some vendors, um, but I am, I am currently looking for some more. It's fine if, you know, if I don't get them, we're still going to have a really good, good time. To, but yeah. yeah, I've got like four or five lined up so far. Well, there you go. So, yeah, and and I, I would imagine as, as this hatched out over the past three or four weeks or whatever it's been that, that, uh, this sort of has, has come into play all like i I would think all the vendors i know are probably somewhere yeah we threw this show together kind of last minute as well i wasn't really i i told myself i'm going to get out of hosting shows for a little bit we got the baby (laughs) coming in august my band schedule is getting crazy around i run my own business like i love hosting events but i just couldn't pass up the 419 yeah and you and you're probably really 
busy with your business because you do pest control. I do, yes, I do. And pest I would control imagine outdoor pest control is firing up right now. Oh yeah, mosquito season's yep. about to hit. Uh, oh yeah, I get. I've been getting calls for ants. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting. I'm everywhere, man. I'm super busy during the week. Yeah. But yeah, Marshall Pest Solutions. That's me. There you go. Getting into yeah. the '80s this weekend. So does I that know. does that hatch some mosquitoes? It's gonna yes, hatch sir. some mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> going mushroom hunting. <laughs> I've actually found a. I found some in a yard I was mowing the other day. Yeah, no, it's gonna hatch some mosquitoes, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be there uh, fogging for them. So okay. if you want a mosquito free yard, six one eight five eight one three two one seven. Say the number again. Six one eight five eight one. Three two one seven. There you go, Marshall. And Pest apparently, Solutions. from what I, since since we're talking bugs, apparently from what I've heard, when we don't have hard freezes over the winter, I know it's kind of scary. I'm like, oh my god, what? you're more like, busy. This right? is definitely like climate is definitely changing. Like there's something weird going mm-hmm. on. Like you know, I'm I'm only 34, and I remember like my birthday's in October, and it would be cold. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. and it just don't do that anymore. But anyways great for business yeah i I was i I was gonna say great for your business though because uh, that that was that's always sort of my hope going into the winter as the winters freeze less and less is all we need a a good deep hard freeze to kill oh man the mold that's why the moles have been going crazy everybody's Uh been like the moles i've never known moles to be this bad and it's because the last few years the moles have been so bad the last three or four years because the winters are and they don't hibernate anyways moles are active all year round they don't hibernate uh they they uh but anyways since the guard since the yard yard are not freezing Mm -hmm. they're staying you know within you know six seven inches of the of the surface they don't need to dig down yeah Yeah, they don't need to go down in the den so people are noticing them more than normal so i do most too call me pain in the (laughs) they are (laughs) they are they they can tear up a yard quick man (laughs) so uh do you have a plan for two different cicada broods at the same time hatching that's happening no. soon. No, this yes. okay. Everybody keeps asking me about it's this. Very cicada loud. Thing. It, yeah, it, apparently, it, it, it's it, it's it's one time like in what like seven, fourteen years, something yeah. like that. But anyways, these are these are not necessarily target pests. Okay, uh, I didn't. I mean, think if you're so. a farmer, you might be scared. They're getting, you know, but there's what are you going to do? I have the mosquito fog. Um, I use a a repellent insecticide with a couple other things in, in the mosquito fog. The repellent in that treatment will probably keep some of them away but it's just one of them things we're gonna have to you could give out earplugs <laughs> right yeah branded earplugs right yeah, yeah. we'll do that <laughs> marshall <laughs> pest control yeah special ear hey protection. the sound of summer amplified enjoy right. it people <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you're gonna have a choice as, yeah, as, good, <laughs> so, as long as they're not but hey if you want your yard treated for it call me i'll yeah. do it <laughs> as long as they're not like biting me and giving me malaria or anything uh no the mosquitoes definitely drive me out of my yard quicker than moles or our cicadas or anything are going to uh, and you do a fine job keeping them at bay for me, sir. Well, so, thank uh, you, sir. Yeah, Appreciate again, this. Marshall Pest Solutions, give it a shout out there. Uh, so, uh, what do we got uh, going on this Friday evening, sir? Well, we talked about Derry Garcia. You can get the sneak preview this Friday night down at the conservatory from eight thirty to eleven thirty. Nate Sick- Sickmeyer and Company, and uh, Hollywood Five at Fast Eddie's, and uh, you know Nate Sickmeyer is part of. Uh, riley holt and the lost cause big pen and they got a brand new release out and you're gonna love the name of their new release all right it's called illegal before noon <laughs> uh, naked you before like i do <laughs> naked before noon no but illegal for sure yeah 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 oh uh, yeah i like and, it and uh they'll be playing with crocodile kings on april 26 oh, at nice. the Have, miners theater in collinsville I haven't heard the name crocodile kings for a while so that's well they they play the big theater down there in uh, in, in collinsville miners oh, nice. the, i think the biggest theater uh in the close close riverbend area and and uh, for sure the biggest uh theater that is doing uh local and original music right uh, so uh there you go they got the connect down there with their punk rocker bass player <laughs> right also going on friday night last stand only one night for them seven o'clock at the vfw in alton money shot eight o'clock at third shoot in alton rogers and neen house out of baker's nail from seven to eleven carl maker out in Cottage Chills at the Grip and Sip Golf 
from seven until and, ten on Friday. That's in Cottage Hills. You have any idea? You know, is it like on the main drag? Do you know, I haven't seen this place. Yeah, yeah, yet. yeah. It's uh, on the side. Cutter Brothers was on for years, and uh, the little barbecue shack yep. right there. Yep, absolutely. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. I, I we we talked about it last week, and 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 then I left it open. I'm like, okay, so it's in Cottage Hills if it's not on the main drag, and I. So there you go, right where Cutter Brothers used to be? Yeah, right in that area somewhere. In that area? Okay, there you go. A nice uh, new venue for people to play at. The, yeah. Uh, the yep. Grip and Sip Golf Inn, right. Cottage Hills. Also, another venue for people to play in. We got a lot of those on here. Yeah. Wade Trent playing at uh, Locks Brick House in Bethalto from 7 to 10. Soul Shine Groove 7 to 10 at the Moose and Wood River. Levi Tucker 6 to 9 at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville. Phase 2 down at Toys Village Inn and Pontoon Beach on Friday. There they are, pig pen, lickety split. <laughs> Eight o'clock at Tegan's in Granite City. Gets a laugh out of you every I, time. I does do it. like that name, lickety splits. Dustin Coleman, seven to ten at Pavia's place on Friday in Granite City, and Billy the Kid. That's a Billy Joel tribute. Eight yeah. o'clock at the Wildy e Theater in Edwardsville on Friday, and I believe Saturday as Is well. Is that dude gonna drink straight vodka on stage too? Well, he's going to be a piano man. Okay. Know that. <laughs> and then he's going to go Rick as Porsche. <laughs> if, you, if you're going to tribute, go all the way. Right? Hey, I seen him play one time, and he had like a fifth of vodka on the top of his piano. Oh, yeah. It's the only way to play piano. Yeah. Playing piano sober, that's like playing guitar sober. No, I don't know. <laughs> Do whatever you want sober. I'm just kidding. Speaking of uh, piano, segue into Mike Sonderegger. I can't say that unless I'm sober. Right. <laughs> Can you say Sneaky's Burgers? <laughs> Sneaky's Burgers. Yeah, very good, very good. Lanny and Julie, 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Public display of affection, 6 to 9 at 1818 Chop House in Edwardsville. The Robert Perry Band, 5 to 8 at the Stagger Inn again in Edwardsville. New Crime Trio, 7 to 11. <laughs> At the uh, cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Road to Point Fest this weekend. I'll be there with my unknown and sailing ticket. Yeah. They're playing with Impressions. I Like Snaps. Number One Sons and uh, White Rose in Saw J at Pops. And, awesome. of course, the Experience Live Music Row continues on a Friday night down in Belleville. Ten String Dream going to be down there. Hick Town going to be down there. Also in Be Belleville. Brett Baroki and friends, 7 to 10 at the venue on Main, and that's a ticketed event. Cole Allen at H's Bar in Belleville, that they do original music. Oh, nice. Right. Nice. Amber Fade, 8 o'clock at Schmitty's in Belleville, and Jack Ash, <laughs> 7.30 to 11.30 up in Root House at Martin's Lanes. Sarah Schumaki, she's playing at 10 o'clock p.m. at Evan. Jeline's Bistro. What did you oh, say? wait a minute. Evangeline's, man. Yeah, yeah. If that's the, uh, yeah, the one. St. Louis. Yeah, the man, they, they, uh, they do. They're good, man. Shotgun Creek over there in St. Louis, good, good too. Food. Nine o'clock at the Honky Tonk. And guess who else is over there? Well, all the way down by Six Flags. Colt Ball, 7 30. <laughs> at Freestyle Brewery in Eureka. Nice. There you go, that man. That boy's busy, isn't yeah, he? He is a mover and a shaker, isn't that, he? When I met Colt, that's why I decided, like, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm going to age now. If I'm going to join somebody's band, they've got to be, you know, if they're singer-songwriter type, they need to be hustling. Yeah. I've invested a lot of time and money into my gear and my equipment and my time, so I want the person that I'm playing for or with to be a hustler. And then I met Colt, and I was like, wow, like, this dude, like, does it tenfold. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, he and, and in addition to playing constantly and and not just in one town, he's moving and shaking. He's constantly oh, he, he's constantly writing and he's constantly making little videos that he puts. Oh out yeah, on, no, on yeah. Facebook. His promotion. There is not a better promoter in St. Louis. You will not find a better promoter. Actually, I I'll say this: you won't find a better promoter in the Midwest than Colt Ball. <laughs> I don't see other bands from Chicago. I. I don't see other – I'm just saying regionally because that's what we see here on our Facebook feeds and that kind of stuff. But, right. like, I don't see other people promoting the way he does Yeah, those videos and, and stuff and, like that. And it's hard to constantly promote and constantly keep it new where you're not boring people with the Man, same Man, we've got some big stuff coming down. I would, there's a couple so. things I wish I could just be like, dude, check this out right now. Like, <laughs> I really, there's one specific show yeah. I really like, but it's because of this dude's hustle. Yeah. And yeah. like you know, we've been doing good at the shows, and people people dig it. But uh, yeah, his hustle is nice. 
Nice for that. So uh, he's going to be hustling into this town uh, next Friday. Yep. And uh, Colt Ball and Friends. Colt Ball and Friends. Uh, We're going to have a new band name soon, too. I can't wait. Okay. It's yeah. going to be fun. All right. Yeah. Might announce it that day. Yeah, well, I was going to say. Probably not. We're, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting on our buddy John Griffin uh, to come up with some art for us once right. we get that from him. Yeah. We're going to put out a live album, too. It's going to have some material from Family Fest. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Hey, nice segue. Speaking of Framley Fest, one of the bands you had, Pigpen, uh, in town Saturday night, Alligator Wine. Oh, nice. Yeah, those yeah, guys I just heard about that last night. Yeah. Did they just announce that? No, you just got to go to cottonmouth.org, and you'll find all the information you need Lame. on everything that goes on in this town. <laughs> just saying. Yep. Yeah, they, no, yeah. it wasn't that far back, though, Marshall, just all right. so you know, maybe a week or two ago. I've been keeping off the Facebook, except for my own yeah, promotions, very for difficult. my own mental health reason. My job yeah. is to take care of all your mental health problems by announcing things for you. Yeah. And, 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 and doing all the research that it takes to find all these gigs. Right. And, and by lining all this up in, on an internet site that all you got to do is log on, and all mm-hmm. this is right... You know, kept up to date right there. Find Easiest booking way to find agents. Out. You yeah. can find gigs. You can find all things bands need. Places mm-hmm. to get your songs played. Yeah. It's all right there. One page. No pictures. Just You're click. doing the Lord's work. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing stuff bands don't have time to do work. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm probably not that tight with the Lord. Uh, well, you don't. Although Lord, my, Lord, Lord, Lord. Although my name means Lord. It is, Does it really? Yeah, Laird. I'm, I'm not bi- very biblical. Laird is Lord of the Land. Dude. Scottish. What about when, Ran- what about when Randy Landlord. was Lord? My Laird. Right. My wife Randy's and I are got watching a greasy some belly. show where they say that a lot. I can't remember what it is, but I like the way they talk. Yeah. So, yeah. I, like I was watching wine. a show with my wife on Pornhub the other night where they said that. Like, no. Nah. Oh, me lad. <laughs> oh, me lad. Uh, I don't know. So, hey, alligator, alligator wine. Yeah, alligator wine. Those guys are alligator wine. Super yeah. tight. If you oh, like Grateful Dead, they, they played the last Happy Trail. The, well, the jamming at the Springs. I didn't remember yeah. the Springs. They were one of my headliners. They were super tight. So, yeah. Grateful Dead weekend at the Conservatory. Yeah, with J- uh, Derry Garcia on Friday and Alligator Wine on Saturday. I bet Joe will be playing that new Modulus I sold him. Oh man, he's <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Uh, those 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 cats are a lot of fun. If you like Grateful Dead and you like the uh, uh, improvisational, you know, long jams, they're they're a fun one to see. Uh, what that's Saturday night at the Conservatory. Mm-hmm. What else we got going well, on? We got Halloween. The Crip Kickers, seven o'clock at the BFW in Alton. <laughs> Anthony Nanny and Company, two to six, Hollywood five, seven thirty at Fast Eddie's. Mr. Pat Liston. Nice. There we of go. Mama's Pride, seven to ten at Baker's and Hale in Godfrey. Go get you a hamburger and enjoy some blue mist. All right. Speaking of blue, what about blue stem? That's right. Vodka. <laughs> yeah. Is what you're talking about. Yeah, it is exactly and one of your favorite subjects <laughs> out there in Meadowbrook. <laughs> And one of your gals, look at there, Aaron Joe, going to be playing at 3 o'clock out of Blue Stem on Saturday. Nice. Clinton Company, 2 to 5, Retro Nerds, 9 o'clock, an 80s cover band at the Pump House in Wood River. Jay Hollinger up at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville from 6 to 9 on Saturday. Leadfoot as we fire up Grafton, 2 to 6 at the Hog Pit. Yacht Rockers, 2 o'clock at the Loading Dock in Grafton. Cricket in the Grilled Avocados, 3 to 7 at Grafton yeah. Winery. Bob Gilda, 1 to 5 at Aries in Grafton. The scruffy-looking Nerf Herders getting a piece of that Grafton this weekend, Not, uh, <laughs> 2 to 6. You know, mid-80s. So it's going to be nice being outside oh, up in Grafton this weekend. Bob Gleason up there as well, 7 to 10 at the Bloody Bucket in Grafton. That's just so, a heck of a weekend in Grafton right is. there. Beautiful weather, beautiful music, going to be beautiful times up there. You got that. And then uh, Phase 2 will be playing down at Deutz on Saturday night from 8.30 to 12.30. Every little thing at Patty McDee's. And Josh was having a 420 show down at Patty McDee's the uh, following weekend down there in Granite City. Nice. Uh, Billy the Kid back at the uh, Wildy for the Billy Joel tribute on Saturday. Soulshine Groove around the corner at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. The New Prairie Drifters, 5 to 8. The Stagger in again in Edwardsville. Once again, thanks to Butch Moore for finally posting 
a nice list of what's <laughs> happening at the Stagger Inn. That is not easy to find out and a great place to go listen to bands. It is. It's so got that's a good, why good I room. love that. Yeah. Other Mothers Brothers, 7 oh, to 11. Wow. Yeah, at the uh, cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon City Heat at Red's Tavern in Bunker Hill. I believe there's a car show involved with that one as well, 6 to 10 at Red's right. or the new Sage House, whichever side you're on, right? <laughs> cabin Fever, 6 o'clock at the Prairie Inn in Dorsey, and then Short Mist up at Rail Shake in Highland. So uh, Dustin Coleman out at Eckerd's Cider Shack, and they're having the blessing of the bikes down there in Belleville this weekend. And uh, here's oh, a nice yeah. original lineup. Look at this. Nine Left Dead, Dime Store Riot, Rage is My Rival, 11 After, The Coves, Psycho Mismatch, Secondhand Sin, Send the Message, Etched in Embers, Alborn, mm. Almost Guilty, Sinful. Starts at noon. No cover. H's Bar. Oh, wow. Look Bella. at that, man. Yeah. That's I told nice. you they're doing some interesting nice. stuff at that H's. And that, that's the there. blessing of the bike. So, yeah. excellent, man. Good. Also in Belvo at the office, Wise Disguise and Defcon, two bands for Hank's birthday at the office. <laughs> okay. Wise Disguise. Yeah. <laughs> and Colt Ball will be at the uh, City Foundry in St. Louis on Saturday night. Of course he will. Nice. <laughs> we got the Bluegrass uh, <clears throat> Open Mic at the uh, Lodge at Lovejoy from 2 to 5 with Tay Kelly. There'll be some Grateful Dead possibly involved with that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice Grateful Dead weekend here in town. How about the band Head Trip 102? That's better than 101. <laughs> one o'clock. I, I, I didn't pass Head Trip 101, <laughs> so I can't take Head Trip 101, too. It's a pre wreck man. Right. <laughs> one o'clock's the time at the Hog Pit in Grafton. Uh, Anthony Nanny and uh, the Insiders at Fast Eddie's. Robert Perry up at the Loading Dock on Sunday. Danny Callaher at Grafton Winery, 2 to 6. Steve Mellis and Jackie at the Grafton Pub from 2 to 6. Uh, Dan Sprout, 1 to 5 at Aries and Grafton on Sunday. They got it going. 85 degrees on Sunday. Whew. The Blue Monkey, <laughs> featuring Scott Marlin. What'd you call me? <laughs> I called you the Blue Monkey. Yeah. Uh, Marty so. Altenberg and Joe Lang at Big Daddy's on nice. Sunday from 4 to 7. An open mic with Lindsey Wolford sitting in for Butch Moore at the Stagger Inn again. And Drew Lance and guests at the cabin at Judy Creek. I can never say this guy's name right. Pete the Pete Cryshock Project, yes. They played the uh, benefit for Scott and Michelle. Yeah. They're playing 2 o'clock at uh, Deutz Village Inn and up at uh, Wild Pickens. Soul Shine Groove from 2 to 6. So, And Colt Ball is playing on Sunday <laughs> of as well is. with uh, Soresto. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. With Soresto <laughs> okay. featuring Colt Ball at a place called Bar K in St. Louis from 1 to 3. Okay, there you go, man. So, he's, he is a busy guy. He's just out there. Look at this so. one, Pigpen. St. Louis Theater Organ Society presents music to the Charlie Chaplin silent film, The Kid. one thirty at the Lincoln Theater in Belleville. I always thought, uh, why not recompose music for uh, silent movies? And, and, I mean, the organ, uh, Theater Organ Society, I just, just that name makes me go, those people are all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Trophy Mules, too, playing on Sunday, 3 o'clock at the Alfred Brewing Company in St. Louis. Man. I know. That, that, that is a big uh, big Sunday. That's uh, what happens when we get warm weather and the outdoor venues open up in Grafton. And uh, yeah. we add all those to the list that's already long. I was going to say, it's starting Grafton to get... Grafton Oyster Bar. If you all are listening, yeah. Colt Ball and Friends once in. We've played the Oyster Bar in St. Louis like a bunch. Like uh, we love playing there. We got shows coming up there. But same folks. Hey man, so it should be. Easy. I know that's. But hey, yeah. it's not. I went in. <laughs> it's so <not. laughs> it's not. Call me. Uh, yeah, it, I think they book the entire summer over the winter. They Usually, do. once they post their uh, on their website, it, they post the every entire single, year. Yeah. yeah, which is cool because like you never know when you're popping into Grafton and want to know what's going on. Yeah, so. and and it's probably easy for them to easier for them to do it that way and and work on running the place in the summer when it's open than trying to yeah. book the bands so i've seen third shoot in grafton doing more shows this year so uh hopefully yeah. they'll just put them out there where i can find them so i can tell people because a lot of places have music and they just don't post it which i don't know why but they don't post it yeah and uh so we never which, hear about it which i i you know i just like you I, I think that's quite the mistake because i think a lot of people i don't you know most of the people i know if they're going out for dinner or drinks 
the thing that they're thinking about is is there live music there because that's what draws you. I'll tell you right now, a lot of venues don't really care. I agree. They just want music. They don't care who's playing. They don't care. Like we know this from booking. I'm not. I'm just. It's just. It's what it is. You're nailing it. You're nailing it. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's what's cool about the list I just went through. Most of those places are talking about the bands that are playing. So if you're a band booking somewhere. You probably should book at the where place. They take care of you, exactly. man. Stop taking low pay. I'll tell you, any musicians listening or not, stop playing for pennies, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, uh, you, you know, you're preaching some stuff that everybody, every musician loves to hear. But yeah, <laughs> man, stop playing for pennies. But then all of a sudden, you know, the, first of all, uh, the, hey, man, the, I'm the always... first people to step up and play for free when there's a benefit, always musicians. And, well, and, yeah, I mean, benefits are different, and, and, but I'm and, talking just regular bar gigs and yeah. stuff, you know? And, well, yeah, and, and there's a place for guys who are trying to get established, too. So they will play for free just to get the experience. Now, sure, there's open mics, but, I mean, if yeah. they can get in their favorite bar and play it. Man, one of the reasons I dialed bands back for my last couple shows is just trying to pay people right, man. Right. It's really yeah. hard. Like, yeah. I started out, like, I've, got, I had pe- I've had people play for free. I've had people play for cheap, you know, and I'm doing my best to, like move away from that but that means booking less people you know yep. it is what it is the yeah. most successful way i've seen bands uh make music in this area and it's very possible is they'll play in co- acoustic shows during the week and uh-huh. then they'll book their original band on the weekend so they can show off their original music they won't get paid for that but yeah. they make enough money yeah. during the week that's you what know. that's what I was gonna. Was, and they make connections. Ro- that's what I was rolling so. into is that it's, it, it's easy to, to to say that, but whenever you're pushing original music, mm-hmm. it's a little harder to go. Hey, man, I wrote some songs and I want you to pay me <laughs> yeah. to play them. And uh, that's why I was shocked when BC Homegrown did what they did. They went from being a cover band, screaming uh, eagle, screaming eagle, right? yeah, to an original. Band. Recorded an album down in Nashville. Came up here their first show. Is at Lincoln Theater in Belleville, and I'm thinking, that's pretty crazy. Your first ever original show, 400 people. The that's ever- a cool theater. I used to do pest control there. Yeah, It'd be fun to get in that one. But the, but for for your to go from a, a cover band to an original band, and then have your release party, your first yeah. big show, pull in that many paid people is is a. Uh, that's pretty impressive because it is hard to get uh, all original shows. And you know, uh, I to go I, sometimes. I talked to David Curtis about that. Speaking of a promoter. Yeah, and they did all their stuff to promote that show by playing gigs, and talking about that upcoming show. Yeah, you know, and getting out there and promoting it. Word of mouth. I've talked about this to a lot of bands. People who go see live bands go to venues that have live bands. So if you're wanting to attract people to your show, you should be going to venues that have live bands <laughs> right. and talking to people that go to see yeah. live bands. Right. Pe- people like, on Facebook probably don't get man, out much. It's hard. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I'm is. somebody that not only throws shows, but I play shows. And mm-hmm. I, I want my friends and I want my peers right. and my acquaintances to come out to my shows. But you want to know something? Like, I feel terrible, but I, I, I don't go out to many shows. Like, I try to, but right. like, I don't have well, time. You, like, I'm I tired. Like, I get it. like I cook dinner for the kids which is like, exactly what people say about your shows I know exactly I, you know, and, so, and, yeah, and, uh, and we're seeing and that's kind of one of the reasons we're we're dialing back playing in St. Louis right. is we were over saturating the market here last year yeah been there done that yeah, many we're times Colt Wall and Friends will be playing St. Louis but far less this yeah, summer we got down to like once or twice a year we'd play which wasn't that much fun you know we wanted to play more often but it was hard to keep consistent crowds coming out we do better out of town man we have like a fan base like we uh, in peoria well we we hooked up with biker gangs that's cool well that's not (laughs) and well and we had a constant crowd crowd. every time (laughs) oh they loved it all you gotta do is play born to be wild you're in (laughs) play the boys are back in town they'll go crazy (laughs) uh so there you go man that's uh uh all happening at 419 is bicycle day that's bicycle when, day that's when uh, Colt ball and friends will be down at jacoby's art center along with sandwich brothers band uh jared lutz and Derry garcia's lonesome blues man that's gonna be a uh, gonna be a fun night you're gonna be playing some music for you to come in and enjoy there's going to be uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fun music i have not seen jared yet so i'm i'm interested to see what he does but i've seen Derry. Derry does a great job really uh, excited to see him pull off the terrapin suite by himself that that's a feat 
Uh, again, worth worth the uh, ten dollars just there to watch Derry Garcia play the Terrapin Suite. Yeah. Uh, but but in addition for your ten dollars, you also get the Sandwich Brothers Band, and then a nice long uh, extended set of uh, Colt Ball music. Yep, we're gonna play three songs the whole time. Three songs. Well, we and don't even know if we're gonna play one. We're, we haven't decided yet. We might just not play a song. <laughs> and I guarantee you, all weekend long, uh, Colt Ball will be telling people about Bicycle Day coming up on the nineteenth at each and every venue he plays at. So. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If you get out there and work it, and I know it's tough when you got to have a job to support what you do. Yeah, there's definitely more opportunity coming from where people go to see live music than you're getting out of Facebook. Yeah. Well, and 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 just to touch back on that, uh, you said you don't get out and see live shows, but you used to as much. I was going to say you get out as much. Well, as I you used to. you've got you've got a young kid. Uh, and and another on the way. Yes, that that's a young. Uh, you know, when you have that young family, I know there was years where uh, even just to go to concerts locally, forget about going to festivals across the nation or, or anything like that. You know, uh, me and my wife would take turns because somebody's got to stay with the baby. Yeah, and, I'm super blessed. My wife takes super good care of me. I mean, I'm busy. Yeah. Like I we're booked every weekend in May. Shout yeah. out to the you wife. Know. Big yes. part of it. Yeah, yeah you need Sasha a, Bass, I love you, you. You need a team with a band. You really do. Beyond just the I mean, the, band. the, bigger, the yeah. bigger bands have teams. Yeah. It's pretty crazy when you start looking at... Like, and the smaller the bands, the team is the family. So yeah. if you're in a family of band members, this yeah. message for you, man. They need your help. <laughs> <laughs> they do, man. Absolutely. Yeah, it's tough. Yep. So there you go, man. Going to be a good time down at Jacoby's next Friday night, four nineteen National Ten bucks get you in day. the door. It's at ten dollars. That's we we t- we discussed this last week with Derry. That's two dollars and fifty cents per band. Hey, and the space shuttle is going to be there. <laughs> Have you seen the space shuttle? Is down at a Challenger. Down at the uh, oh, food flock. truck lot, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. which is right uh-huh. by Jacoby. I was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't book no space shuttle." <laughs> yeah, but for people coming to the Jacoby show, there's food right there at the food lot. Yeah, Lemay's man, yeah. Uh, yeah. local LeMay's local catering that. business yeah. here in town. It's my buddy Justin's business, Jason. <laughs> one of those right one that's jason yeah. so are they going to put the stage in that parking lot or is this a different stage you guys were talking about oh this is the indoor stage okay yeah for the show but he was for talking sure. about him building a stage well that, that 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 was a discussed last year a little bit and i think it's uh, there's plans to actually build a permanent one outdoor there right. i don't know i don't know if it's moving cool. i hope it's covered still. if they're gonna build the outdoor yeah. stage yeah. cover it yeah. so it's sort of facing <laughs> the uh but i you know I, I might be speaking out of school here because that was a uh, well you could build one pig pen i if you build it they would come that's right <laughs> we'll call it pig's pen <laughs> Hey, there you sounds go. sounds <laughs> enticing. <laughs> Everybody wants to get in a big pen. Uh, hey man, thanks uh, thanks a lot for coming down, Marshall. Always always thanks good to uh, always good to talk to you. Uh, best of luck with Colt Ball and Friends or whatever the new name of the band might be. Uh, it's gonna be something. <laughs> gonna, oh, there we go. So it's gonna be called. It's gonna be something. 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 So there you go. Uh, no, good. Good luck with the uh, with the future with the band. Uh, good luck with the show this weekend. I know it's going to be a good time. Uh, lots of lots of fun will be had by all who attend. I encourage oh, yeah, everyone it's to come be a on. Good one, man. Oh yeah, I encourage everyone if you're to come a fan down. Of live and, music, you ain't going to want to miss this. Set. Yeah, come down, get your dance on, get your groove on, get your smile on, and get on your bike and <laughs> ride around no bike and ride it absolutely uh i'm going sailing friday night yeah it's unknown but i'm going <laughs> unknown and sailing and they, they're at pops uh for the road to point fest yeah and i had a good time there last weekend uh shout out to tony willingham yeah. once again he does the lights there did a fabulous job on lights nice. and he, he he said i didn't talk to him i just seen him post uh after the show that uh he's trying to get the hang of it so <sighs> if that's getting the hang of it he's definitely going in the right direction nice nice but uh i i'm trying to say the band's name correctly that moved on because we were calling them something else facing infamy we were saying facial something infamy i think but facial infamy you know how it goes when you're playing Uh, yeah Uh, we were acting goofy sure sure so they so they moved on yeah there you go all right well well best of luck to unknown and sailing to move on this week uh that's next friday 
this Friday. This Friday. Okay, yeah. yeah. Best of luck to them to move on. Next uh, next Friday, Friday is is your show. Yeah, I, I'm so it is. confused. And yeah. there will be no winner at that show. You all win. Uh, everybody's a winner. Right. Everybody's a winner at National Bike Day. Uh, no drawings. No, 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 no voting. Like that. I think right. The only thing we're voting on is who's got the biggest smile. <laughs> and so, so wear, wear your biggest smile and, and nothing else. No. <laughs> <laughs> best bike. Maybe. Yeah, best best bike award. Uh, best. <laughs> so, uh, no, going to be definitely going to be a good time down at Jacoby's again. Uh, Jared Lutz. Derry Garcia's Lonesome Blues, the Sandwich Brothers Band, uh, Psychedelic Trippy Weirdness, and then Colt Ball and Friends. Two uh, two sets, two nice sets here. I think we're going to probably, well, I don't know. We're yeah. going to do either one long set or two sets. Yeah. I don't know either yet. Way it's gonna, either way, it's going to go Either way, it's going to feel play. it out, right. yeah. Um, yeah. If the crowd is it's having pumped. a good time, it's going to be hard to stop. Whatnot, I mean, why stop? People? Why stop? Yeah, why stop and, this train? Unless there needs to be like a pee break or something. Yeah, figure it out. Yeah, I'll bring you a Gatorade bottle, empty. Yeah. No, all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, hey, man, thanks again. Uh, always a good time to have you come down. Yeah, I and, love and being on the chat. Show. Uh, yeah, good time. Marshall and Gracia from Happy Trails, from uh, National Bike Day coming up here, uh, from Colt Ball and Friends, and from MarshallPestSolutions.com. And yep. from How for Music. I have multiple personalities. <laughs> yeah. He uh, occasionally <laughs> does bugs at How for Music, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. And Matt Van Morse. Mm, he might need you. had me do bugs, but if they want preventative yeah. maintenance, I'm their guy. They, well, they, don't, they don't have bugs. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> why, why wait to call? You don't want to call your but best guy. Matt Van Voorhis, who sells insurance, probably has run into some houses that oh, I'm need, sure. need yeah. more. Call before you have yeah. bugs. It's cheaper. Well, definitely a uh, big thanks to Halpin uh, and Matt Van Voors for sponsoring the show uh, for so many years. Now, big thanks to everybody listening. Thanks to Marshall and Gracia for being here. On behalf of Dennis Laird and myself, everybody get out and support local music and Halpin art. Music Company. 